Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm a professional communicator. That's part of what's evolved from my experience in the last 32 years as a family systems therapist. I have had a perpetual interest in trying to understand how can we communicate effectively, all of us humans. I've been studying that for a long time and what I have evolved is the proposal that there are seven learnable skills that each person can profit from if they choose to put them into practice. I believe that the schools, our school system does not teach these skills. Our ancestors did not know them. You probably cannot name them. One of these skills is called meta-talk. You might say, well, what's that? Uh, Meta-writing is a writing about writing. Meta dancing is dancing about dancing. So meta talk is learning how to talk about the way you are talking. Not about what you're talking about, but how you are talking. So this video is an introduction to this very powerful, useful skill. And I'll show you a place at the end of the video where to get more information. Um, first, in order for what I'm about to say to make more sense, let me invite you to view another video. It's brief. Here's the link. Pause this video. Click the link. It should open in a new window. It will give you an overview of some common communication blocks. Things that get in the way of effective communication. So stop this video. Look at the other video close it and then come back here and resume this one. Okay, welcome back. Now you know some of what gets in the way of our eternal quest to communicate effectively. By the way, in, I propose that effective communication occurs when each person feels they got their needs met well enough in a way that felt good enough. The important word in what I just said is the way. Because as you know, some people can get their needs met, but they do so in a way that feels terrible. They can yell or scream or threaten or hint or plead or various other things we all do to try and get our needs met. So the way you communicate is exceptionally important. Metatalk is the skill of uh, learning communication basics learning a special vocabulary to describe some variables uh, that pertain to how, the, how we communicate together, all of us, all us adults and kids. It is one of seven skills you can learn to use and practice. Okay. Uh, in order to do effective meta-talk, you need four things. The first is you need your true self to be guiding your personality. If you have not yet come across my Lesson 1 videos or that part of my nonprofit website, uh, my saying you're, you need your true self in charge won't mean anything to you. So you may need to study Lesson 1 first to know why I'm saying this. But you need your true self in charge. You need communication basics which you can get from these Lesson 2 videos and the related website articles. You need knowledge of special communication terms. You need a vocabulary, uh, of which I'm about to illustrate the most important ones. And you need a primary communication skill, which is called awareness. You need to be aware of a group of things that are going on minute by minute by minute as you communicate in person, over the phone, or perhaps texting or writing uh, with another person. You need to be aware. Aware of what? The primary thing you need to be aware of, as I mentioned, answers the question, who's running my life right now and who's running yours? Is it my true self? or a false self? Are you being governed by a true self or a 
false self. That's a complex subject which I'm not going to attempt to describe here. I do so in other videos. I encourage you to see those. But that's the first variable, meta-talk variable, that you need to learn to pay attention to. Who's in charge of me? Who's in charge of you? If your true selves are in charge, the odds that your communication will be effective go way up. Another variable to pay attention to is something called a respect message, R message, the letter R. R stands for respect, which is something we all need to feel when we're communicating. We need self-respect and mutual respect. If either one of you is not getting, uh, I respect you as much as myself here and now, if you're not getting that message, um, visually or verbally or non-verbally, your communications are going to go down. So learn to pay attention to your R messages. See the video on that for more information. Another variable you probably already are aware of is eye contact. Effective communication usually on important matters usually requires stable, friendly, as opposed to intrusive, eye contact. If either you or your partner are looking off in, into space or you have fleeting eye contact or you have fierce staring eye contact, that can disrupt communication. Learn to focus on that and learn how to comment on that. And a meta comment on that variable might sound like this. Um, Jorge, you know, I notice that as we're speaking, you're scared, you're staring at me, and that makes me uncomfortable. That's all. That is a meta comment. It doesn't solve anything, but it raises Jorge's awareness that something he's doing is interfering with your communication. He may not be aware of it. That's the purpose of meta talk or making meta comments. It's not to put the other person down or shame them or fault them or make yourself superior. It's giving information like a newspaper reporter, video reporter. Another variable to pay attention to in important communications is something that's called an awareness bubble. That's a metaphor. There are four possible bubbles that you and another communication partner can have. I'm, my bubble of awareness is just around me. My bubble of awareness is solely focused on you. My bubble of awareness encompasses you and me. What are I think? What am I thinking? What are you thinking? What am I feeling? What are you feeling? What do I need? What do you need? That's a two-person awareness bubble. The fourth of four bubbles is, I'm not aware of me or you. A two-person bubble is best for effective communication. The other three options hinder effective communication. Learn to recognize and pay attention to your awareness bubble and your partner's awareness bubble in important communication. Another powerful factor that many people are not aware of consciously can be called an E level, the letter E. E stands for emotion. Our emotions, as you know, go up and down, moment by moment. When your emotions are metaphorically above your ears, when you have intention, intense emotions, often that interferes with your ability to hear so it's useful to pay attention to in important conversations. Where's your E level? Is it below the ears, meaning can you hear me? Or is it above your ears, where your hearing is impaired? Where's my E level, above or below? A meta comment might sound like, you know, Lucy, I have the feeling that your E level is above your ears. I wonder if you can hear me clearly. That's a meta comment. No criticism, no problem solving, it's information. See? Another uh, variable to pay attention to, there are only a few more. One is, where are we focused now? 
Are we focused on the past, on the future, or right now? A variation of that is, where are you focused and where am I focused? Are we focusing on the same thing? You're talking about buying a new car. I'm talking about our bank account. Those are related, but they're separate subjects. Become aware in important conversations. Where are you and your partner focused? Past, present, future. Do your focuses match or not? Another important one that you're semi-aware of, I'm sure, is interruptions. Interruptions are disrespectful by, by nature. If one or the other of you interrupts too often in a disrespectful way, as opposed to other ways, that will cause communication effectiveness to plunge. So be aware, if you yourself are interrupting, or if your partner is interrupting you too much. If, you, if that seems to be true, you could offer a meta comment, something like, um, excuse me, I'm really aware that your need to speak is higher than your need to listen. That's my guess. You're interrupting, you've interrupted me five times in the last three minutes. I wonder if you can let me finish speaking before you speak. Are you willing to do that? That is both a meta comment and an assertion. And pay attention to interruptions and learn to comment informationally on them if they're getting in your way. Another factor to pay attention to in important communication is double messages. If what you see with your eyes does not match what you're getting with your ears, that can be really confusing and distracting. That's called a double or mixed message. Example, if I look at you and your face is contorted and red and your voice tone is angry, but your words say, I'm not upset. You know, no, you're projecting that on me. I'm, I'm okay. I'm getting a double message. Visually, I get you're upset. Your words say you're not upset. What? Pay attention to double messages. A meta comment sounds like, Frank, I just got a double message from you. Your face says one thing, your words say another. I'm confused. That is a meta comment. It's just informational. That's all. It helps to identify communication problems. That's the point of this skill. Another variable to pay attention to is vague or fuzzy thinking and speaking. I'm about to make a video on that. I haven't yet. Um, fundamentally, it occurs when people use vague, fuzzy pronouns to try and describe something important, like, we have to get to the bottom of this issue. Well, what is this issue? It's a fuzzy statement. Or, those people really create a problem. Who are those people? What is the problem? Speak specifically when you're in important communication, especially problem-solving mode. Okay? A major problem, and the last one I want to touch on here, that you can use and develop uh, in the skill of Metatalk, is, <clears throat> is paying attention to if your communication needs and your partner's needs mesh or they don't mesh. If I need information from you and you want to provide information to me, our needs match. When is your birthday? Oh, it's October 21st. Our needs just mesh, just in that exchange. If I want to talk about buying a new car and you want to talk about the last time we wrote a check that bounced, our needs do not mesh. I, want to discuss and you want to complain or problem solve. Our needs don't match. So that means we'll probably have ineffective communication unless we change that. So pay attention. First you have to know the five reasons that we all communicate. Um, you can learn that in lesson two if you don't know that so far. 
Once you know that, you can say, do my needs match your needs right now? If they don't, let's do something about that. So, what I just illustrated is a group of factors in normal communication that you can learn to pay attention to and do some problem solving with once you identify that there's a problem. Who's in charge? Respect messages. Eye contact. An awareness bubble. E levels or emotion levels. Where are you focused in two different ways? Past, present, future. Mutual focus or not. Interruptions. Double messages vague or fuzzy thinking and speaking, and mismatched communication needs. The reason the skill is useful is the way we communicate. And here is the final and biggest factor of all to be aware of and to include in any many medic comments that you exchange with a partner. The awareness is, as we finish our communication, did you get your needs met well enough, and did I? What is the outcome of our communication? That is the master awareness uh, to build the habit of evaluating in important exchanges with people in your life, adults and kids. So just to recap, Communication is the way that all adults and children attempt to get their current and long-term needs met. Communication is a learned skill. There are seven skills that you can learn if you choose. Most people have never studied them, or only loosely or vaguely. This video has been on one of the seven skills called Meta-Talk, M-E-T-A. MetaTalk is talking about how you communicate. Use it when you experience a difficulty in clear, effective communication with another person. Here are a couple of resources to augment uh, what you just learned in this video. Um, here is a link to a group of other Lesson 2 um, videos on YouTube. They're all about uh, improving your communication effectiveness. This is the first of two groups of videos. The second group is about tips. The first group is about basics. And here is a link about a free web article on my nonprofit educational website that will go into more detail than I did here in this video on the skill of MetaTalk and will list for you all the variables, not just 10 of them or 11 of them that I've done here. So I hope you'll consider using these resources and becoming more aware of your communication awareness. And when you sense that you have a problem, try out the skill of talking about how you talk or how you communicate. I hope you found this thought-provoking and useful. As always, if you have any comments, constructive uh, suggestions or whatever on the videos or the content, I'd be very pleased to hear them, either on YouTube or in my website. Thanks for watching.